Hey everybody, it's Gavin from SimeFX.com, and today I want to show you the brand new Portraitist effects. Uh, the Portraitist set is a simple collection of Photoshop actions that uh, is specifically for getting great skin in your portraits and does a lot of what you might do with a plugin or something like that, but with the simplicity of action. So let's just go ahead and take and open up Photoshop with a few of these images. And let's just take some various portraits. So I'm going to show you, I already have the actions loaded up here. And if you want to know about how to, how to use and manage actions, there's a video about that over on SimeFX. So today I'm just going to talk about the actions. This is the portraitist set, and these yellow actions are the effects. Now there's only five of them, and it's a very simple set. This is actually also included in our Hollywood Effects 2 set. So the, the complete portraitist collection is part of Hollywood Effects, but you can also get it separately if you just want to get the, uh, the skin smoothing. So what you have here, let me just go over these real quick. We have the portrait portraitista, which is just French for portraitist, but um, portraitista A stands for auto, no texture, so it's designed for wider portraits. Portraitista A textured, which is down here, is for closer up headshots, and what that actually does is in real close up facials, it does the smoothing of the skin, but then also returns some texture to the skin to make, give it a really nice even look and still have kind of the pores and the texture going on there and everything's controllable with masks and layers and that sort of thing uh, also the auto versions of the actions that we see here the A series are the, the action runs and it actually auto detects the eyes and detail areas and leaves those masks so it does not blur those areas and just smooths the skin now when you're done you still have a mask so if it misses a little bit or if you want to blur an area that it didn't blur whatever you want to do if you want to change the intensity of the effect you can do that with masks and opacity but what's cool is that you can run these in auto mode and they're just ready to go out, out of the box and you don't have to work with them anymore because they automatically s detect the eyes. Uh, the Portraitist manual mo versions are the same but they're manual and when it's done you don't have any immediate change you actually have a mask that's completely blacked out and you paint white to paint in the smooth areas that you want smooth so it gives you a little bit more precise control and the porcelain retouche is a very very smooth porcelain like skin great for glamour type shots and it's also an auto effect but you have masks to work with if you want so let's just go ahead and take a look here let's go ahead and zoom in on this one I'm gonna min button mode I'm gonna click the porcelain retouche you see that it's gonna run through this is a simple quick action uh, we're working with a high resolution file here and it's just gonna go right through and boom it's done so let's down here here's our layer and our mask our opacity for the purpose of this video I'm gonna crank it up all the way just because the, you're, you're seeing it smaller than I am on my screen so what we have here is it's just selected the skin and the smooth areas it's, it's protected the critical areas like the eyes and that's the main thing we're concerned about when we're dealing with the portraits. We, we want our eyes to stay sharp. Now, you can turn it on and off. You can mask it. Additionally, if you want, just using the brush tool, you can paint, paint it in by using white, or you can paint mask out areas even more by painting black. So let's go ahead and maybe return a little bit of detail of the hair here, because it did, it did select that. It looks good the way it is, but we can work with it and do whatever we want. You can also dial it back if you don't want the softness to be quite as intense. You can do it at whatever opacity you want. And again, here is without and here's with. It just really gives you a nice, smooth, soft skin. And I would probably run a little bit down on the opacity because she's got great skin anyway. But uh, very effective. Let's take a look at another one. Uh, here's a wider scene. And this is probably something that we want to have a little bit more control over. We don't want too much blurring going on. We could run it in auto and it would probably work fine. But let's go ahead and do portraitista manual with no texture because this is a wider portrait and you don't really need to add texture on the wider scenes that's more for the close-up facial portraits where you really want to keep that natural looking skin so it's just gonna run the entire action and when it's done the brush will be selected and the correct color and the mask will be selected and everything and all we'll have to do here it is down here and all these actions you know you're gonna see folders and layers and groups and stuff like that so you can have total control over the degree of the effect so it makes it really easy to manage it this will shut a little higher noise setting but what we got is a black mask so there's nothing showing right now and we can just paint with white on the areas we want to smooth and as you see it's actually re it's not changing drastically instantly because it's actually returning texture I'm sorry this is the no texture version so what we have here is it's smoothing the skin 
it's retaining a little bit of that noise. But and we can also blur the background and stuff as w if we want to. We can extend this as far as we want using the masks. But here's our before and after. And I haven't applied it a lot, but it's, it gives you a lot of control in the manual mode just to paint wherever you want the mask to apply. Let's take a look at another one. And here's a great one for portraiture auto, excuse me, portraitista auto textured. So this is kind of specifically for headshots. We see the actions running, and we're just going to let it run its course. And it just, it's, it's kind of magical. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. I'm really excited about these. There's been a, a lot of work done into these. So what we see is just this perfect smooth skin. And again, we can contr control it with opacity, but you see that the eyes, when I'm turning it on and off, it's not even affecting the eyes because the eyes have already been left alone. It's leaving some detail on the lips, but the skin is just this really smooth, nice, textured, even-looking skin that looks really great. And uh, here's another one where you, we could do uh, Portraitista Auto. And what you can do is if, if you're dealing with a scene where it's not quite you know coming out the mask it's not masking auto masking quite the way you want you can just paint your mask with black or white uh, black will hide and white re will reveal so it's uh, it, because this is a black and white image it's holding out a few things that we want to be soft so let's go ahead and bring our brush up and we're gonna zoom in here on the face and just paint in a little more softness and smoothness on the face and it just makes it really easy we're just kinda kinda work around the eyes Go down here, and I'm just going to do this quickly because we don't want the video to be too long. But we see we're getting a really nice, appealing skin tone, and here, there's on, there's off. So I, I would work this a little bit more, but you have total control over how smooth and intense you want it to be. really gives you a lot of power to make great-looking portraits. Here's another one here. Let's do the porcelain retouché. And this is also an auto action with a mask, so it's going to leave her eyes and detail areas masked out so it doesn't blur those, but we see that it just smoothed her skin right down. Probably what I would do is run this about this opacity and then maybe do just a few uh, healing brush on the other spots, but the majority of the skin it's making really nice and smooth. Might even dial it back just a touch more just to keep it looking natural. And again, just have total control. We could even go in here and if we wanted to we could paint some blurriness back in here where it's not visible by default the auto mask left that out because normally you wouldn't want that but in this case you know we can kind of blur that background and just draw the focus right to where we want it and it gives us total control over the image so that is portraitist the portraitist actions for photoshop and you can uh, check out the set at simeffects.com and it also comes included with Hollywood Effects 2, the complete set of the portraitist actions is, it, is part of Hollywood Effects 2, and you can also buy the five actions separately over on Sign Effects. So enjoy and have a great day.